Let's go. Let's go. L-E-T-S-G-O. Let's go. And here we are on the Mr. Christopher Show. Joining you every week, kind of, sort of, if I feel like it, it's me, <laughs> old pal, Mr. Christopher. And here today I have one of my favorite guests. You know her. She comes frequently and also visits the show. And that's Miss Paula Peralta. <laughs> Say hello to the people, Paula Peralta. Hello to the people. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me here, Mr. For Christopher. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Now, hello. A few, it seems like a long time ago, but in fact, it probably wasn't. Do you know how time changes? We did a little class together, a series, if you will, because it was 10 different classes called How to Become Money, Honey. Mm -hmm. What yes, was that honey. class for you? about it, Janet. <laughs> uh, it was it, it was amazing. It was a game changer for sure. It's like one of those things where, wow, how do I even put something like that into the words? Here's the thing that the How to Become Money workbook class that we did last time created, or here's what it created for me. I was recently at a in, at an antique market in Los Angeles, California, where I currently reside. And there were so many beautiful things. So there was like amazing crystal and China and there was art and, um, you know, furniture from like every era that you could possibly think of. And what was really interesting is as I was looking at some of it, I was like, oh, that's really beautiful. And I have something just like that. Or, oh, like, look at this jewelry. Oh, I just bought these other, you know, these other beautiful gold earrings. And what I actually had to acknowledge that came from this How to Become Money workbook is how much my point of view about what money is or is not has changed. So before the How to Become Money workbook, I very much thought like the number in the bank account, like the number that I saw when I logged into my banking app was like the amount of money that I had. And it changed, it shifted things really dynamically where now I look at wealth creation. I still, don't get me wrong, I still love the dollar dollar bills, y'all. But I started to shift and look at wealth creation and really actually acknowledge what I have generated over the course of my life, the last year, the last months, weeks, days. Um, I'm, I'm probably creating wealth right now. Hello. <laughs> Probably. I'm definitely. So that's actually what changed for me is looking at like the value of creating your life and wealth creation versus just like the money that you require to pay your bills, um, which is very much how I functioned for a lot of my life. And in fact, for most of my life, couldn't even pay my bills because I was broke, broke. Mm. So what changed, what changed for you or what, what was created for you during that How to Become Money workbook class? Well, the How to Become Money workbook is one of the first books ever that came out. I think if not the first book ever that came out from Access Consciousness. And it it's incredible. It's Gary Douglas wrote this book and based on classes he had talking about money with a group of people. And I'd never done it before and I'd read it a little bit, but never actually gone through and done the exercises and really applied it to my life. And in doing so, mama mia, it changed things. I think through the course of that month, because we spread out the classes, like, I think we did it twice a week for five weeks to get to do 10 different classes on the, on the book. And I think I made $70,000 that month. And when I say I made $70,000, I like you said, I don't mean there was this huge deluge into my account of that much money, but things occurred like, oh, my text debt got halved because of something that my accountant realized and all the money that I was asking for, because one of the things I do monthly is go, okay, great new month. How much do we require to create this month? How much money is needed to... Um, handle all the things and live the way I want to live, not just pay the bills, but also put some aside, play a little bit, invest in the things I like to do. That book contributed so much to just going poof and knocking it out of the park, not yeah. only meeting targets, but going so far beyond. And I realized 
like one of the fundamental things we talk about in access consciousness is your point of view truly is what creates your reality. And this book asks you to sit down and get super present with what your points of view are. And by me doing that, wow, things changed. Yeah. Yes. And it's interesting. Um, and I, I've heard you talk about this before and I can, I, I feel like our, there's a semi similar trajectory there in that, like, you know, 10, 15 years ago, like neither one of us really had much money, if any, right. I didn't know that I had two nickels to rub together <laughs> at certain points. I thought and, was fancy. <laughs> right. <laughs> totally. And that's where I think like, Things like the the tools that talk about and that that come up in the how to become money workbook are so cool because it doesn't matter whether you have no money, it doesn't matter whether you have new money, whether you have old money, and you're looking to whatever you're looking to create. There's a tool, probably multiple tools that contribute to you, and that's what's been really cool for me with the how to become money workbook is that every time I do it. I see something else. I hear it differently. I read something that I hadn't really noticed before. Um, I apply it. I become of different. I become aware of different limitations that I wasn't aware of before, and so it's it's really cool. I'm excited to see what shows up in this next this next round of of calls. That's right, ladies and gents. The class so good. We're doing it again. It's interesting. It just sort of seeps into your world and starts changing things, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah now, for sure. Something I really like to do when I'm doing a class, whether I'm the facilitator or attending, is set myself like, okay, what is it that I would like to change? What would I like to have? And what would I like to get out of this? So for you personally, if you could change anything with your financial reality that we could contribute to you with this next money workbook class, what would that be? So there's two things. One is I've realized in the last couple of months <clears throat> that I've, cr I've created over the last few years, like a cap, a revenue cap where like I'm making more money than I ever thought I could, you know, that I'd ever dreamed of making before. And it's consistently, no matter what's happening, whether there's a global pandemic and I'm not working as many hours or whether I'm working an insane amount of hours, I'm consistently making the same amount of money over the last several years. And I'd really like to like take that lid off and actually like catapult into the, the next level of what else is possible there. That's like one thing that I've, I'm really asking for is to like, I want to go above my raisin. You know how they say, like, don't go above your raisin. Yep. <laughs> like, <clears throat> like I'm at the tippy top of whatever, whatever that is. I've decided is like the highest point for me, and I I'm ready to just like blast through that. That's so, that's so cool. Answer. Yeah. Well, that's cool because that also speaks to what you said. Like, no matter where you're at financially, I see someone in the chat saying that they would like retirement. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So if that's the thing you're asking for, my ask is similar to yours. It's like, I've had so much growth and gotten to a point where things seem to sort of have stabilized a little bit for lack of a better word. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready for more. How do we knock the lid off and go even further? So if that's worth both asking for, imagine what we can contribute to anyone who chooses to join us. Totally. I think it's going to be, it's yeah. It's going to be great. Um, it's so cool, too, to, like, see where when you have so many people coming together, um, like, everyone brings their stuff with this How to Become Money workbook, and it it all manages to contribute to everyone else, too. So, again, no matter where you're at in your journey, you can jump on and join us and know that all the facilitation that everyone else is receiving is a facilitation of you as well. So... Yeah. And I love that you called it a journey because you know what, for so many people in my life that see my life and know the journey I've been on and where I've come from, particularly with money, they would be like, well, you have so much and you've created so much change. Aren't you done? No, <laughs> we're never done unless you are, I guess. But for me, it's like, no, next more, please let's go. And it's just a point, you're just a point of view away from having that. 
Totally. And it's funny because, and this is, maybe it's just me, but the how to become money workbook is what I do when I don't know what else to do. Like it's the thing that whether I'm looking at my body, whether I'm looking at money, whether I'm looking at um, relationships, like if I can't get, like, if I feel like I'm not getting there, I'm like, okay, what tools can I go to? What can I play with? Is like, it's the questions that get asked in the how to become money workbook because they're so dynamic and moving the energy. Like I can go through and read that. And there's just, it's such a contribution that like, it may not be directly related, but energetically it expands my life in such a way that I have the space required to like have clarity on the things that I want to choose. So mm. it's pretty awesome. We got to teach the children. I am oh, I only in English. No, Ayami, we will have other languages. We are working on Japanese and Mandarin and we have Portuguese and Spanish. So Ayami, if you would like to join us again, we have a repeat offender who wants to come back. Uh, <laughs> we will find a Japanese translator for you. Ayami, we would love to have you again. Thank you for joining us live. Um, so for those who would like to join us, it's 10 sessions, 10 like roughly one hour sessions where we will read the book together and go through the exercises and answer your questions. Um, and if you just, if you don't have the money even to join us and you want more, please go to the accessconsciousness.com website and their bookshop and get yourself a copy of the book. If that's where you're at and 30 to $50, whatever it costs is, the biggest investment that you can make right now, please know that doing that alone, you can change things. But when we do it together, the change is exponentialized. So that's why yeah. I'm asking for a hundred of you out there to join us. What would it take for a hundred people out there who would like to change their financial reality to come along Yes, and do this together? Because if we all changed our financial reality and knew there was a greater possibility, what invitation and inspiration could we be to those around us to knowing you don't have to struggle, you don't have to have a problem with money. This universe truly is an abundant place. Mm, so true. Yeah, so that's the thing is, if you if it's if it's not something that's comfortable for you to choose right now, that's totally fine. Who do you know? Like, who could you who could you connect to us to that would contribute to all of us creating greater? Cause that's the thing is the, the how to become money workbook, like Chris said, is going to change your reality no matter what. We'd love to have you come play with us. Cause we like to be a little sassy and irreverent about all of it anyway, <laughs> which, you know, also creates. So yes, we start in actually seven days from now. We start a week from today. Yep. It's going to be amazing. Well, I'm delighted to be on this journey with you, my friend. And what else is possible? <laughs> exactly. So, everybody, we'll see you all in a week. Bye.